Okay, here's your other problem. Um, I just went ahead and did it all already. I started by distributing. Then I combined my like terms. Um, the 4 and the negative 7 would be a minus 3. Over here, the 3y and the positive 1 is a 4y. Now, at this point, I've got 4y minus 3 equals 4y minus 3. They're identical. So if I subtract 4y on both sides and add 3 on both sides, I get 0 equals 0. And what that means is there's actually an infinite number of solutions. Now, I looked at your problem, and Alex only gives you the choice of all real numbers or solutions. So that's what you should click on for Alex is this one here. All right. And just so you know, um, if you did like all of this work, but like the four Y's cancel, but maybe you had another number over here. Let's say when you did it, you got zero on the left and a five on the right. And I'm just picking some random number. You, you know, you're solving the equation, blah, 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 blah. And the variables cancel out and you're left with two numbers that do not equal each other. When that happens, it means there's no solution. And I noticed in Alex, you had either no solution or y equals blank or all real numbers are solutions. Those are your three choices. So if it cancels out and you get zero equals zero, it's all real numbers. That means any number that you would stick here, here and here, when you do the math on the left and you do the math on the right, you get the same result any number in the world. I could stick one in there, I could stick seven in there, I could stick negative two in there, I could put 3.15 in there, I could put any number I want. It'll always check. But over here, no number will ever check, period. Nobody will ever check. And if you solve it and you'd gotten like y equals two, then that means two is the only number. So those are these two are special cases when this happens, and they happen every once in a while. So I hope that explains that for you.